You know, I have a lot of respect for gaming culture. My uh, admiration started off for it back in the 80s when the very first Super Nintendo came out. Me and my little brother could spend hours bonding with games like Mario Kart and Contra and Tecmo Football and Donkey Kong. There's something about the possibility within a digital world that stokes the fire of our imaginations and provides an escape that can be ever so tantalizing to our senses. I mean, think about it. There's no real penalty if you lose or if you get killed. You just start over. And eventually, if you keep trying, if you keep persisting, you find a way to beat the level. You find a way to win. You always do. And if you want to unlock something, it's usually just a matter of scoring some more points. And if you need to score some more points, all you have to do is try a new strategy or keep using the one that's already working until you get the thing or until you get to the level that you're trying to get to. But one day I realized that there was no real difference between being in the game and being in real life. And I think that's one of the things that a lot of people don't appreciate about the gaming culture or fail to realize about this digital experience that we can control and be a part of. You see, one day I realized that even when I took the goggles off, I was still in the game. A whole virtual universe. People come to the Oasis for all the things they can do. But they stay because of all the things they can be. Can you feel this? Um, yeah. Now right now you may have a child, a spouse, or even a parent who enjoys playing games like Fortnite, Minecraft, Grand Theft Auto, Assassin's Creed, Players Unknown Battleground. They call these games free world forums. And in these games, you can go anywhere, do anything, be anyone. Your character or avatar can be good or bad. It can be happy or sad. You can have lots of points or barely enough. You can drive that car, you can get that stuff. In these free world forums, you can build entire towns or you can light them up and burn them down. It's just a game and it's always playing whether you're sitting, standing, or laying. And I'll prove it to you right now, wherever in the world you are watching this. I want you to ask yourself, what are you really allowed to do? When you woke up this morning, you probably took a shower and then you put on whatever kind of clothes that you chose to wear. After you got dressed, you either chose to eat breakfast or you didn't, and right now, you either have energy or maybe you're feeling a little bit depleted. But the point of it all is, you chose. And then, you got in your car or on a bike, or maybe you walked to work and began to pursue a career or a job or some form of making money that you chose. Or maybe you didn't. Maybe today you went golfing or boating or fishing or yodeling. Maybe you did some nunchucks or took in some Bruce Lee. Maybe I watched you. Maybe you're watching me. Maybe around lunch you texted your wife and told her you loved her. Or better yet, maybe you scheduled a hot date at your favorite restaurant with your favorite view, drinking your favorite beverage, eating your favorite food. Now, if your avatar is single and ready to mingle, maybe you finally worked up the courage to ask that girl out. And it's quite possible that she's been waiting for a very long time for you to elevate your courage meter and ask her out. You see, when we're in the game, we always keep trying until we get what we want. We're never depressed or have anxiety. We're never shy. We never uh, shriek back from pursuing something because we're in a game and we just keep trying until we get the result that we want. So then why in real life when faced with opposition or rejection do we just shut down or retreat? Because we would never do that in a game. In a game, we just keep shooting until we get that thing that we want. The reality is, if you can still hear my voice, that means you're still in the game. 
And if you're still in the game, that means you still have time. You're living in the ultimate free world. This game is just a simulation. It's almost just a training ground to teach you to keep trying until you get the thing that you're after, until you succeed and achieve that thing in life that you want. Are you crazy? Am I? Or am I so sane that you just blew your mind? <laughs> it's impossible. Is it? Or is it so possible that your head is spinning like a top? <laughs> it can't be. Can it? Or is your entire world just crashing down all around you? All right, that's enough. Yeah! Pick out any area of your life, whether it be personal relationships, whether it be uh, connections, whether it be your personal economy, whether it be your health and fitness, or whether it be just fun experiences that you want to give to yourself and others. And level that part of your life up and don't stop until you get what you want. You see, life is one big menu and literally everything is on it. Sometimes we like the result, sometimes we don't, but you're always free to make a new move. You're always free to try a different strategy until you get that thing that you want. So what are you gonna do with this life, this virtual reality that you're living in? What will your next move be? I would encourage you to keep going until you get what you want.